Hello everyone, this is Mr. Creep, and welcome to our video. Today I'm showing you how to make a custom, um, kind of like health bar with mcreator 2020.5. So let's get right into this. First, what we need to do is we have to go to variables, and we're going to add a new variable. This right here, um, in this tutorial, I'm making a water bar, so I'm going to be calling this water amount. We're going to make this a number variable type, and I'm going to make it player lifetime, because just like the health bar, whenever you die, it resets, and the hunger bar, whenever you die, it resets. So I'm going to hit OK. And the initial value, basically this is the maximum value that you want your water bar to be at. So I'm going to be setting this to 10, because well, really you can set it to any number, such as 20, but I recommend that you don't go above 20, because you have to create, um, because you actually have to create double the amount of the, well, you have to create a lot of mod elements, so I just want to say that. So, I recommend that you watch the tutorial first, and then determine the initial value that you want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to mod elements here, and we're going to be creating, um, we're going to be creating an overlay, and this right here will be the water bar one. The snapping component is grid, and then now it is time to actually start making our bar. So what we want to do is I'm actually going to just going to create a little icon here, like just something very bad that just determines how your water is determined. I'm making this this little blue sphere thingy. Well, actually, it's a blue circle, and then I'm just going to name this washer. There we go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to be going to texture, and actually, um, we actually have to make this an other texture type. So now we'll be able to select it from our list of textures, water bar right there. And I'm going to be making it in the same position as my mana bar, because the hand is about where my, where, like, the, like, where the icon is right there. So, I'm only making it on this side because the chat's gonna be on this side. So, um, yeah, I this I found this part. I found this area right here to be the most convenient. Or of course, you could put it at the top, or else you could try to fit in over here. But then again, the armor, the health, the experience, the food, and the um, breath bar for when you're underwater is right there. So this is where I put my mana bar from my mod Immortal Adventure. So that is where I'm gonna be putting these right here. I'm gonna be saving the mod element. And now we're going to be duplicating this for um, for water bar 2. And this goes on for every single um, initial value that we have on here. So as you can see, we have it on 10. So we're going to be duplicating this 10 times. So I'm just hitting it one more time. And then I'll just um, cut to the part where I actually finish it off. So as you can see there, water bar 3. So it's really, um, so it's really repetitive. But it looks, but it's pretty cool in the end. So I'm just going to fast forward it. And what I meant by fast forward is just skip to the part where I am almost done with all of these. Because we're going to have to be doing this again, except with procedures. And I'll show you that in a minute. But right now, I am almost done with these. A water bar eight. Wait, whoops. I do I have eight on here? Let's see. Yep, I have eight. And then this right here will be water bar nine. We're almost there. I can feel it. And then the final water bar, which will be water bar ten. So there we go. And now we can just select our image and save mod element. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to be creating the conditions for these to appear. But before we do that, we have to make the rendering priority appear to highest. And also to save some time, you can just make it highest for the first one and then duplicate it along the way. There we go. Almost there. Because it won't actually work if you don't have it on highest. So make sure that the priority is highest for all of them. Now we can save all our bottom elements. There we go. So now we're actually going to create the conditions on here, because if we go to one of our overlays, as you can see here, it will be display overlay in-game if we're creating a condition for that. So we're going to the plus right here, and create a procedure. This right here will be the water, water bar condition 1. And now I'm going to if, we're going to flow control, I'm getting the if do statement block right here. And then we are going to be getting the custom variables, the get uh, the get global water amount. I'm going to logic here, getting the purple um, 
logic data block right here, and then I'm going to math and getting the number input block. So we're going to be making this one, and the value one right there, and then in the do statement we're going to be going to logic, actually not logic, flow control, and then the blue return the same color as the if do statement block. And we're going to go to logic now, and I'm getting the true statement block right there. I want to be duplicating this, and then setting this to false. And there we go. And now we just have to duplicate this for the rest of them. Our condition 2, changing the number to 2, and then so on and so forth for every single um, overlay that you have. Or of course you can make it um, a lot simpler, such as 5, or you can even make it 100, but that would be 200 mod elements right away, and we haven't even gotten into the parts where we actually um, change the stuff, so this requires a, a lot of procedures, um, but it is fairly quickly because it is all just duplicating this, so yeah. And yes, don't worry, I realized I misspelled all the other ones, or oh, not really all the other ones, but I misspelled most of them. <laughs> I just realized that. And and it actually does not matter what you name these unless it is an item and stuff. Um, just like how I named that water bar condition. I meant to make that water bar condition 10. But as long as you know what they are, then that's really okay because the player will not see the name of the overlay or the name of the procedures. Well, usually they won't. So now we're going to our water bar 1. Going to display overlay in game and water bar condition one. And we're just gonna be matching these up for every single one of them. Just like this. And now because I know that you don't want to watch me just clicking a ton, uh, I'll just skip through this part. And now, as you may know, if you play Minecraft, um, you know that there's some type of empty, um, that there's some type of empty texture for these. So that is what I'm doing now. So this right here is pretty simple actually. Um, we actually should have done it a different way for this, but I definitely recommend it that you do this a different way than what I did. Um, so I'm just going to be doing uh, this right here, I'm just making the gray out texture here, and then this right here will be uh, other texture, water, bar, empty, there we go. And then here, what you should have done is make it is so that you actually duplicate the final water bar so you can just change the texture of them. But um, yeah, so we'll just be adding the water bar empty texture to here. Since this is 9, and since this one is 8, we're going to be adding two of them here. Fun. Woohoo. Very entertaining. And again, I will just skip through this part. Um, so make sure that you just do it the other way, or you can do it this way. Um, you can really choose whatever way you want, as long as you have the same end result, everything should hopefully work okay. So after we get the, um, so after we finish up the water bars, now we're making the zero water bar value. So I'm going to here, the water bar, I'll be calling this water bar zero. There you go. And then now I'm changing all the textures of these. And I actually duplicated the water bar 10. Sorry. I actually duplicated the water bar 10 just so I can, just so I only have to change all the textures just like this. Like this. And then right here. Here. And then just do that for all of them. And almost there. Almost. There we go. And then I'm going to be duplicating the water bar condition. Uh, for any of these, I'm just making the, I'm going to duplicate the 10 again. And this right here will be water bar condition 0. There we go. And so now we can set this to the 0 value and change the condition right here. And there we go. So now we have our working water bar. Well, not yet, because we still have to have a way to get water. So that is what, and that is why we're going to be creating a brand new food item so here we can make it so that so here we're making uh, I don't know maybe like um, 
I no. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of a food item. There, there's already a water bottle. So how about bottle of water? Boom! Bottle of water. And now it's time to create a very beautiful texture. Uh, let's see. Oh, actually, I'm gonna make it from scratch. Yep, this is. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm super good at creating textures. Look at this. Oh no, I messed up right there. And eh, it's okay. Time. Oh, this is such a beautiful texture. Oh wow. Okay, this is really good. I like it. I'm calling this just a bottle of water. There we go. And then now we can just like our very beautiful texture and make it so that the trigger right here on when food eaten, it will increase our, okay, set global water about two. And we'll be getting the, I'm going to math, I'm getting the plus right there. And then we'll be setting it to plus one. But also we have to actually add something else to here. We have to test um, what value the water bar is at, excuse me. Um, so we have to, <clears throat> so what we have to do is test for this. So we're actually getting this and these blocks from there. And now we're going to be getting the equals right here. We're dragging the one right there and the um, global water amount. And we're making this 20. If not, so we have to get the not block right here and actually set the equals to more than 20. Actually, it has to be more than 19. So there we go. So, yeah, this is how we set it. Um, it is pretty simple. And then now all we have to do is just make something that actually dehydrates us or removes the water. So I'm going to bottle of air. And then time to create another super good texture. This right here would be called the bottle of air. There we go. <coughs> Now it's time for the most beautiful texture you've ever seen in your entire life. Changing it to white. Oh yeah, this is good. I'm actually gonna add some gray to the bottom of it. Oh wow. Yep, that that yep, that looks amazing. <coughs> and then now I can select our texture and now um I'm actually going to what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to edit the procedure right here. There we go. There we go. And then I will make it so that it subtracts one of them if the value is not less than one. So there we go. And then I'll set the bottle of air to the correct procedure. And now everything should work, so I'll I'll showcase this in game. So yeah. And now this is loading, and hopefully, if everything worked, the bar should be gray. That is a problem. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, we have, no, we have it, the initial value, uh, whenever it is, um, whenever we have, okay, we, the initial value is actually supposed to be 20, so never mind. <laughs> I thought I really messed something up there. Now we can get our bottle of air, which is this supposed to be, and I can see here. Um, we eat it instead of drinking it, which is uh, fun, and also it's not called bottled air, it's called bottled water water, but hey, it still works. See there? And you see, it's not bringing your value any lower, so now we can replenish it with drinking, or th with eating a bottle of water. And now you can actually make this with a lot of things, such as if you drink a bottle of water. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot more complicated ways. I just wanted to show the basics of it. Uh, I'll have to cut that part out. I can show my YouTube analytics. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, so now what we can actually do is we're adding another condition to whenever your health is, for whenever, like, um, the... Whenever your whenever the bar is really low, so I'm going to go to procedures here, and now we're making it um, penalty for penalty for low water. Perfect. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go to if 
and the if do statement here in the water and if the global water amount is less we actually have to get this block right here if it is less than actually i'm going to do the less than or equal to because then we can actually set it to three so if it's less than or equal to through three you're are going to be getting um so you're gonna be getting blindness here so there we go let's see where is blindness uh there we go and this will just happen for every single tick there we go and then if it is equal to or below two it will get slowness and if it is equal to or if it is equal to one you are going to get uh, let's see, maybe weakness, yeah, and then if it is equal to or lower than zero, which seems like a problem, um, it will be, let's see, which one is not fun to have, um, let's see, mining fatigue, that, that sounds nice, let's make a mining fatigue, um, like 20, and because Minecraft values are weird, um, it's actually the add potion level 0, that's actually level 1, and level 19 is actually level 20. I'm not sure why, but that is just how it works, and also we're going to be making it so that um, it is when it is the player tick update. So, yep, this now should hopefully maybe work. And see, now we're in game, so if we drink the bottle of air, as you can see, we get blindness, and now we get slowness, and now we get weakness and now we get mining fatigue so overall this is just not a fun combination to have so yeah you better drink your water so you can actually not have all these horrible effects so yeah that is how you make a custom bar you can also make it with some more complex procedures if you really want to which i'm not going to be showing you for this video i just wanted to show the basics of how to make a custom health slash bar in minecraft so if you did enjoy this video again i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're new to the channel we really appreciate it if you were to subscribe see you guys next time and goodbye guys